This week on Game of Thrones, it's all about the relationships as couples heat up, pair off, and open up. Some more willingly than others. It's Kissed by Fire, and we've got your Westeros recap. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti for ENTV on YouTube, and TVLine.com has all the details. Although he continues to give up information on the Night's Watch, Jon Snow's loyalty is challenged once again by the wildlings of the North. He insists he's on their side, and to prove it, he throws his vow of chastity out the window. Apparently, you do know something, Jon Snow. Nothing you did with your mouth. Is that what lords do to their ladies in the South? I don't know. I just wanted to kiss you there as well. Jamie also spends the episode opening up to his female companion with very few clothes on, not surprisingly. After taken prisoner at Heron Hall, Jamie tells Brienne of the origins of his nickname, Kingslayer. Tell me if your precious Randy commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women, and children burned alive. Would you have done it? Would you have kept your oath then? The Hound fights for his life against the Brotherhood without banners and wins. But shortly after his victory, Beric is brought back to life thanks to some mysterious magic. And apparently, this wasn't the first time. How many times have you brought me back? It's the Lord of Light brings you back. I'm just the lucky drunk who says the words. How many times? Five, I think. This just makes Arya question the Brotherhood even more. But Gendry gives her a reason to stay. I can be your family. wouldn't be my family. You'd be my lady. Things are also not looking good for Rob's camp in the north. His men rebel against him by killing the two Lannister children they had in captivity. An angry Rob has the killers executed, which causes a big part of his army to break away. So what's his plan? I need men to replace the Karstarks who marched home. There is only one person in this kingdom with that kind of army who hasn't already sided with the Lannisters. The man whose daughter I was supposed to marry. Old Frey. And while some relationships are naturally falling into place, others are being forced. Tywin Lannister has learned of the Tyrells plans to marry Sansa into their family, something he is not eager to see happen, especially since it would give the Tyrells control of the North. But his solution to the problem doesn't seem to be favorable to, well, anybody. And how do we do that? We find Sansa Stark a different husband. You can't mean it. Tyrion will do as he's bid. <laughs> as will you. <clears throat> what do you mean? You'll marry Sir Loras. We're halfway through the season, so you'll want to make sure to stay up to date on all the drama and spoilers as they unfold by subscribing below. And to catch the preview of next week's episode, The Climb, click right here. And if you missed our recap from last week, click right here. I'm Brian Corsetti. For all the latest TV news, log on to TVLine.com and stay tuned to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.